One term we hear all the time in racing is dyno testing. So I thought I'd take you behind the scenes at Hendron Racing Engines to take a look at their chassis dyno. Now, if you've not been to a chassis dyno before, then let me tell you a little bit about it. What it consists of is a 5,500 pound steel drum that is sunken into the ground. That is then connected to a computer. Now the drum itself, as it rotates, as the, as the tires go across it, it's going to measure the horsepower and the torque. Now there are also sensors that will measure the air to fuel ratio that's coming out of the exhaust and another one to measure the engine RPM. So the way that this works is all based on Newton's law, second law of physics that force equals mass times acceleration. So if we know that we have a 5,500 pound drum and we know how fast it's rotating, it'll come back to tell us what that acceleration is. So let's take a look as we put a car on the dyno and some of the processes that are involved. Here's a car entering the dining room. Next, we'll change the tires, and you're gonna change them to the specific dyno tires. And I'm sure different dyno shops are different in what tires that they use. The car then gets strapped down at both the rear and at the front. And we really wanna make sure this is very secure so that we don't end up launching a race car through the shop. Now to connect the car to the chassis dyno, the technician will insert an exhaust probe into the end of the header. Now this probe will measure the air to fuel ratio. Next, then they'll either hook up a clamp to a spark plug wire or to the ignition box, and this will measure RPMs. of all recommended that you show up race ready. I mean show up like you come off the trailer as if you were going to go and run a feature race. Bring your best and then when you get on the dyno some things that you can test there are so many things it's really great because you're measuring what's happening throughout the entire drivetrain. So some of the most popular items would be things like carburetors to find out which of your carburetors if you have a couple of those. Another thing that's tested often is the header tube lengths to see what are going to be the best headers for your application. And that's what's really great is it's not based on just some vanilla car. You're getting to see your numbers for your race car. Uh, so those would be some tips there and some things that you can gain. So, you know, take a look around, maybe do a Google search and see if there are chassis dynos in your area and see what you can do because it's really recommended. That way you're not experimenting during hot laps. You can experiment on the chassis dyno, get everything really dialed in. So when you show up at the track, you are ready to go and ready to win races. If you like what we're doing here, hit that subscribe button.